Now I already have form code on the page, but I'll show you how to add the new code. Click on the page where you want to insert the code and then switch into code mode. Confirm that your cursor is where you want it and then paste in your text, your code. Switch back into design mode and make any changes you may want to the text formatting. And then pause the video while you save your form and upload it to your web server. Okay, we're going to leave Aweber and Dreamweaver for a moment and open a new browser window and go to http colon forward slash forward slash www.clickbank.com and follow the sign up link at the top of the website. Please pause the video while you fill out the ClickBank sign up form and then restart the video once you've created your account and logged in. Once you've logged in, head straight to the account settings tab and the My Products link. As you can see, I already have some products set up, but I'll walk you through setting up a new product. Click on Add New Product. The URL you have to enter is the address of your order verification page. So the URL to the new page we just created and uploaded to your web server. ui.html. Now my item is listed as number five because this is the fifth item I'm selling through Clickbank. Yours will most likely be set to one. I'm going to set the product price at $47 and then click Save Changes. Now because I already have an existing account, my account is already pre-approved. Your status will be set to pending approval request if your account is brand new. There are a few more steps to complete in order to submit your page for approval. First, we need to test our payment link. Click on the edit icon next to the product we just created This will open a new window. Make sure that the test mode is checked and click Save Changes. Next we're going to learn how to create the payment link. I'll be honest, I never remember how to create this, so I either copy it from an existing page and make changes, or I go to the FAQ library. So let's go through that step. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click FAQ Library. Follow the Payment Link FAQ and then follow the How Do I Make a Payment Link link. The payment link is http colon forward slash forward slash item dot publisher dot pay dot clickbank dot net. So for my product, since it's the fifth product in my cart, the item would be five. Publisher is the same name that we use to log in with, so for this account it's Fred Raw. If you're not sure what your publisher name is, scroll up to the top of the, the page, click on my account, click on account home and it's the name that's listed right next to account home the title account home so mine is Fred Raw okay so now I know my payment link is http colon 
forward slash forward slash five dot fredraw dot pay dot clickbank dot net. Next, go to the pitch page for the product you want to test. Pitch page is ClickBank's terminology for sales page. So let's head over to Dreamweaver and open our sales page and add the code. Please pause the video if you need to open your sales page. Okay, I have my sales page opened and I'm going to scroll down to the order box. To add the link, I'm just going to click on the order how to learn any language in a flash text and then head down to the properties box and enter the payment link URL. Then I'll click save and upload it to my web server and then test the payment link by hitting the URL and going through the order process. Once you've tested the process, go back into ClickBank and follow the My Products link. Now again you get to that by hitting the Account Settings tab and then clicking on My Products. Edit the product you've just created and disable test mode and save. then click Save Changes. So the X is off the test mode column, so that means that that order link is live. Now we're going to submit a request for approval. Again, you won't be able to see this on my screen as I've been pre-approved, but on your screen you will see Request Product Approval. A new form will open. Just verify the information on the form is correct and complete the additional required information then click Submit Product Approval Request. Once that is done, your site status will be set to Pending Approval. It will take about three to five days for ClickBank to review your site and get back to you with either Approved or Not Approved. If your site is not approved, they will give you very specific reasons why. Generally, one of the reasons that a site is not approved is that ClickBank has a very specific return policy. It cannot be longer than 56 days or 8 weeks. A good way to figure out what meets their qualification standards is to head over to Marketplace and do a search for products. So let's do that together. I'm going to scroll up and click the Marketplace link. I'm going to choose the category marketing and ads with a subcategory of new products and then I'll click go. Now this one sounds interesting, affiliate rockstar status. You can see I've looked at that one before. So I'll scroll through to the pitch page and then I'll scroll through the page and locate the guarantee. It should be close to the bottom. And there it is, unconditional money back guarantee. In the third bullet point, you see, just let me know within 56 days and I will instantly issue you a full and courteous refund. Now that's just one example. Poke around the marketplace and view a few other pitch pages to get some additional ideas. One more thing I want to mention. There is a fee of $49.95 to become a publisher. At some point in the product setup process, it will mention the fee. You will need to pay it before your product is approved. If you follow the steps outlined in this video, you will be able to integrate your AWeber autoresponder service as part of your ClickBank sales process. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.